buried on their lands. That's how they used to do it back in the day. If you died and you had lands, they chucked you in the garden. So there's the little cemetery over there on the bright side on top of the hill to your right there. But the hill's on the far side of the lock, on the south side, that's the start of the Grampian Mountains up here in Scotland. And they start uh, quite near the hotel and they stretch all the way up through the Cairngorms, off through uh, Bremar, Balmoral, all the way over to almost to Aberdeen out on the east coast. Keep your eyes peeled for wildlife. I don't just mean the sheep and the coos. Uh, there's a lot of deer around these area, but um, usually they're up pretty early in the mornings, the deer, and at dusk as well. Uh, we have seen badgers along this road. Uh, red squirrels are very popular around this area. Uh, we have a thing in Scotland called Squirrel Watch. If you see a grey one, you are supposed to report it. And at the moment, luckily, they've only reached as far north as Perth. It's just outside the hotel. And he kept taking the ducks, partial to a bit of duck. <coughs> so the, the Forestry Commission come along, captured it, and took it away, and put it back into captivity. Apparently, the Scottish Pie Mine doesn't go for the ducks. Uh, the green fluffy stuff you see hanging on the trees, um, it's called lichen or lichen. <coughs> uh, it's a form of fungus, doesn't harm the tree apparently, and you'll be pleased to know it only grows where the air is very good. The country would pick a load of lichen if they want to dye some cloths as long as it was green. Uh, you boil a load up in a pot and it gave off a, a green dye and it upsets some, some animals if they eat the lichen. It upsets their tummy imagine what that's like coming out the back end of a cow, can't you? Also, it's very popular with model railway enthusiasts or anybody else that's got little model villages. Now, as we come up this bray side here, when we get to the top on the right-hand side will be the very famous Queen's View. I thought where we're going now, up at Blair Athel Castle. And she came along here in a horse and cart. She went up to the Queen's View in 1866. About 550 years-ish before that, King Robert the Bruce came this way and he brought his, his Queen, Isabella. So if you're English or Scots, it could be a different Queen. So lichen on the trees around here, as you can see. <coughs> I've coming up short in View Hotel many, many years ago, but it is now somebody's private house. But, uh, if you've got internet access on your mobile phones or back home, when you get back, if you put in Queensview Hotel, Lock Tumble, it comes up all these lovely photographs of the old Queensview Hotel. It's somebody's who's enough money to live around the side of Lock Tumble. Uh, they encourage you, the, the police, if you have a boat, <coughs> even a 10 foot boat, um, they encourage you to register it with the police and it goes on their data bank and all the rescue services get the same information like the mountain rescue teams, fire brigade, ambulance and all those sorts of uh, authorities just in case something goes wrong they know where they can grab some boats quick and knock on your door and away they go but we do uh, go back to Lockwatch there's a couple of geezers that drive around in white vans uh, they're volunteers they work for one of the local estates and sort the situation out. Now, as for fishing on the tumble and the lock tumble, most of the free fishing is done with the pit lockery end. So most of the, at the moment, is Finn Castle Kirk. There's a few Kirks around here I'm going to point out to you. Uh, that's not been a Kirk since around about 1975. It is a Kirk. But thankfully, <coughs> a lot of the old Kirks up here are now some of these private houses. Uh, the wee little Disney castle I refer to on the right hand side there is the old West Lodge entrance to the Bond Ski Estate. Unfortunately the geezer that lived there died a couple of years back. He said it's midnight and it 
the builder bought it and uh, modernised it the best he could in context with the building. Of course, done the roof, done the windies, uh, central heating, decorated it. It's a two bedroom gaff and it was £160,000. And you've got 0.6 of an acre with that. It's the Red Cross as a convalescence hospital. Uh, after the end of the war, they <coughs> leased off part of the build to the YMCA, which is the Young Man's Christian Association. And then unfortunately the Second World War came along and they handed it back to the Red Cross. And apparently it's full of Polish soldiers convalescent from the war. And then since 1950, uh, it's been in the hands of part of the Duke of Athol's estate. I'm told reliably that it's the, the hoose of the estate manager. It goes with the job. And just coming up through the trees on your right shortly. You can see a wee bit better coming from the other way. There's not too many trees, just catch glimpses of it. But again, it's another one of those places if you've got internet access, puts. Uh, just coming up round here on the right is the I will say, if there's if there's a uh, snowstorm coming, obviously we won't be able to get up over the snow road. And very shortly we'll be going across the River Gary. And it flows from left to right, and as it flows under the bridge, it meets up with the River Tunnel about half a mile down to our right-hand side. Uh, the bridge was finished construction in 1966. Underneath here there's a platform, an aluminium platform that's slung underneath the bridge and that's owned by a local company called Nay Limits and they bungee jump from underneath. Uh, it's about 120 feet and they, they don't, once you stop bouncing up and down they don't lower you to the river, they chuck a rope over it with a clip, clip on your harness. There's a pulley pulls you back up to the platform apparently. So that's, uh, that's what that stone's all about there. Main line from down south, up to north, runs through pit lockery. Most of it is single track. There are places where it's dual carriageway so the trains can pass, obviously. But stains on the sores. <laughs> People's heads on poles. <laughs> oh, just across the field, on the bottom of the bray there, can you see the stag stood over there? He's brown, see the stag? You tell me because he's made a steal. <laughs> And the, the, the fashion is pretty 
and so Walter Scott was writing about this lovely place. And then take it to the But there are other theories because of the Scottish Midge, very famous Scottish Midge. Um,
Oh, it's a green, yellow, and orange. Green, yeah.